Joining us now is Professor Tom Brooks, who teaches law and government at Durham University in the UK. Thanks so much for joining us, Professor. Now, Mark Zuckerberg, he runs Facebook and he didn't know that his own data was stolen. That's quite a striking revelation. What do you make of this? Well, I thought it was quite a striking revelation. Um, of course, amongst many striking revelations that so many millions of people had their data uh, being used by a company without their uh, knowledge, uh, or certainly not um, uh, consent. That would include uh, the CEO of Facebook uh, as well. And, and it would have been happening for a while um, without really being exposed until uh, really quite uh, recently. So it's surprising that you know Facebook has a lot of data. It does sell access to it and use to it uh, uh, to different kinds of companies, but it clearly hasn't had uh, the right checks in place to ensure um, this information was being used safely and with consent uh, by its users, and, and even, of course, affecting its own CEO. So Absolutely. it's remarkable that they've got so little control on their own information. Now. We, I mean, you lecture on, on law and government at Durham University. What, how concerned should we be about what we're seeing here is really the true power of Facebook? And what are you telling your students and, and how are they reacting? Well, I think a lot of students are very concerned because they, social media is something that uh, a lot of people uh, use, especially uh, younger people are very active on Facebook, Twitter, uh, and other types of, uh, of, of media. And, and, and when they see that their information is, not, is, is being poured over and looked at and uh, maybe even being manipulated in terms of the messages that they see or what kinds of ads they are, are, are shown or uh, searches on Google, uh, what comes up, what does not come up uh, based on their, on their data um, that they might not have known they've consented to or are party to, this is a very concerning thing uh, for a lot of people. The problem here, of course, is that, um, you know, Mark Zuckerberg's big problem was his share price of, of Facebook. I think, you know, he was really concerned to kind of uh, put a, a stop to the story and draw a line under any problems and, and give a clear message that things are in hand. Um, but this is a very difficult area of law to, uh, to regulate, given its complexity, its size, uh, and its scope. It's something that there's some very serious lobbying in Washington, D.C. Uh, to prevent, to stop. You've heard in that report Zuckerberg's uh, kind of warning that, uh, you know, anything done to Facebook, uh, Facebook can handle and, and it might kill off uh, any type of innovation that might happen uh, across the sector uh, in a warning to Congress makers. So it's a difficult thing for people to do, a complex area of law for lawmakers to uh, think about. But I think it's also uh, the size and the scale of the challenge shouldn't deter us uh, from looking at this more carefully and making sure that these companies get it right, because clearly they have been getting it wrong. Okay, Professor Tom Brooks, thank you so much for your time in speaking to TRT World. That was Professor Tom Brooks from Durham University in the UK.